we go. Peggy 18. I believe this is Halo. I'm wondering if we're going to see actual gameplay, not just a cinematic trailer, though. The Mjolnir Exosuit is now complete. Even though this technology will save humanity in the war to come. Yep, it's Halo. Halo Infinite. I must remind myself. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Hmm. Titanium alloy cannot. Cool cinematic trailer, but you know. I don't wonder about the gameplay. Still gotta go back and beat the other Halo games, honestly. Can anybody confirm this is supposed to be like a reboot or is this a sequel? It all sure. means nothing. Until you step inside. Oh, wait, it's just, uh, I'm not going to do that now, dude. I'm trying to get my live reactions to this stuff, man. So it's going to wait, dude. Oh, demo. Oh, we are going to see gameplay. Okay, it looks really good. Doesn't look next gen good, but it looks really good. No. No, 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 no. Is this too loud? This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, Chief. Hmm. The hell? No. Get no. You. I can't. <laughs> He's pissed. I know you are. Breathe. No. You don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me. <laughs> Here. He's like, you'll tell me what to do. Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> <It's> safe. <laughs> wow. This looks really good. Looks like it's on the PC or X or the latest Xbox. I don't know if this is Series X gameplay, but okay. Well, they died very quickly. So wait, is there no uh, aim ADS like Halo Five? No, Halo Five was the first to introduce ADS for the Halo series. I think every other game has been just like this right now, where it's just uh. You know, gun hanging out basically. Okay. Check. Anybody confirm if this is like a reboot or if this is a sequel to Halo 5? Like, are they starting this shit all over again or something as far as the story goes? And reshaping it? Damn! <laughs> Ran them over. What the hell is up with these little munchkin enemy alien dudes? By the way, I don't know Halo lore, so I don't know if these enemies are from a past game brought back to life or just all new. Oh. Why do these guys remind me of Gears enemies? Are Halo and Gears finally blending together or some shit? I mean, I get they're made by basically Microsoft own first party studios, but shit. Enemies are very old, okay. Yeah, visually it looks good. Gameplay looks solid. Um, I mean, so far it doesn't seem too different from any other FPS game I've played. I'm still waiting to see what separates Halo from other FPSs. 
in terms of its like gameplay and story or campaign. That's that's cool. Some sci-fi weapons and shit. And I don't mean to come off like I don't care or I'm not kind of nonchalant. I'm just. I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan of Halo, but I'm also gonna say I'm not like against. It. Like I don't think it's a bad series or bad game. It's just I never got into it. It's crazy as hell because I got the Master Chief Collection. Um. I had a physical copy of Halo 5, but I'll just play it on uh, the Game Pass. Not worried about that. It's Halo, so I feel you. Well, my thing is, I don't know the lore like like a lot of people do. And I don't know if this is a reboot or a continuation from 5. Yo, thank you, Spectacular Crew, for the lurk. And it's not even the fact that it's like it's it's Halo so you feel me like it's Halo. No, it's the fact that like I've seen this shit in other shooters. So I'm still waiting for them to I'm still waiting for something to happen to show me like why the fuck should I give a shit about Halo right now? The gameplay looks very similar to other FPSs I have think that I play, like it's Okay, that's cool. Grappling hook into the face. Okay. Wow. So this is a, this is a, I'm getting vibes of like a little bit of Borderlands, a little bit of Doom. Um, the UNSC lost this war months ago. And right now, this enemy is reminding me of something of like a fucking Gears of War enemy. So I'm like. Okay, our our gears and Halo combining now when it comes to their enemy types. We are one step ahead. Like always, the ring is already under our control. It, I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks cool. Like visually, it looks cool. The voice, dialogue, and acting sounds solid. And the banished share the same goal. We fight together. To honor the will and I guess since I've never actually played and beaten any of the Halo ga campaigns, I guess I'm not getting what's so special about Halo series. So. Hell, even Bioshock has its own identity when it comes to FPS. Far Cry games got their own little sort of identity when it comes to FPS. True test of legend. Yeah, he looks ugly as shit. Star us both. He looks like uh, he looks like a mix between a Gears of War alien enemy Set and a fucking orc from fucking Lord of the Rings. Spartan, bear your fangs. Fight hard. Uh huh. Uh huh. Die well. Uh huh. Fight hard, die well. Okay. I guess. Holiday 2020. All right. Well, I got Game Pass, so you know, if you guys want to see this, I'll stream it through PC. So I got the Game Pass for PC. The fuck? What is this? Is this Xbox version of Last of Us? The fuck is this shit? Well, technically, this isn't live. I'm um. Uh, Oh, what the fuck, girl? Okay, you're screaming. This actually was live earlier today. I due to work, I missed it, so I'm basically rewatching on Twitch. Well, I'm watching on Twitch, but some of you guys re are rewatching it with me. The fuck is this game? I swear I'm getting like Last of Us type of vibes or some shit from this, like Xbox's version of it. Hell?
the fuck? It's a zombie? Fuck. Stay in the cave. It's fucking stay in the cave. How, how the fuck did I miss that? Wow, another stay in the cave. How the fuck did I miss that? Rare? What's rare got for us? Battle toads? Cause this ain't battle toads, but I wanted to see battle toads. But it's definitely pretty though. Okay, so no combat or anything like that. We didn't see actual gameplay. It seemed like it seemed like more of a semi trailer for that. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, don't nod. Same people who brought vampire. Wait, don't nod is owned we by Xbox now? Right They're a first party defense. studio for Xbox now? But we couldn't be sure. When did that happen? It doesn't Tell me why. Interesting title. Okay. Chapter one available. It's wow. It's their new form of life is strange. They're doing another episodic type of thing. Okay. It makes sense. In full oh, HDR, in 120 story, FPS. Unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation. Super crisp. Oh, sharp image, yes. Ah, mm, oh, oh, give it to me. Give it to me. So oh, come on. For the type I can do 120 well FPS on my fucking PC. If you do a patch for this shit on PC, I'll be able to play it at 120 or 140. Not because I didn't like it. I just too many fucking what games, will man. You find on Gorgon? <laughs> Peril on Gorgon. Oh, this nice. Bring you any drinks in its current state? September 9th. Nice. Good on you, Obsidian. Good on you. Is this their version of Skyrim? I swear it looks like their version of Skyrim to me. Or an Elder Scrolls game. Avowed. Interesting name. Um, cool. It definitely looks like their version of Skyrim, though. <laughs> Jeez, this is so you were told to basically make a... A Elder Scrolls clone. Power of Xbox Series X. Good job, Obsidian. At Xbox Game Studios. We also work with independent developers, always with the goal of Now that's nothing against Obsidian. They're a great studio, but it's like it just feels like they're kind of copying and cloning a, a new studio, <laughs> a Skyrim or Elder Scrolls game in a sense. Debut their original then again, then again, let me not talk shit like that because. Look what they do in Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds the is basically like similar Our to like a Fallout type of passions. style game, right? But it's done way so better. Because when you play overall, story, way better. You step into the so they could take a vow and possibly fears, make that even better hopes, than the Elder Scrolls game. They can do it, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. I know, Zim, I know. Including Wait, Saga, Hellblade? Do we get oh? Do we get some gameplay from the second Hellblade? No, nope. Xbox is like nah. You want gameplay? You want gameplay? No, you get no gameplay. It's like what? What's her name? What's her name? Our Family Guy. Es Ask ones up. She's like, oh no, no. Like, I I come in now. I I I come clean. No, no. It's been so like, touching to see the impact that Hellblade you, 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 Can I get gameplay? Can I get so gameplay? Players. No, We're no. We're incredibly thankful to all of the <laughs> it's fans like, that have been part It's of like that Senna's fucking made from so Family far. Guy. <laughs> We're excited for you to... Console launch? Exclusive? Console launch exclusive. Wait, weren't they not doing any Xbox Series X exclusives till like a couple years out though? the fuck what the hell in a world where humans used to exist or feel safe it's rainy and dark a bit creepy because you gotta go through tunnels and you've got this weird thing Hovering above a pond of water. And you got a screw flying through the air. Sparking electricity. Nah. <laughs> Stop. What the fuck is this shit, though? What the fuck? Is this a sequel to Alan Wake or some shit? 
It's, this gives me Alan Wake vibes. Wait, no. What's the other game? What's the other game? What is that other game they showcased not too long ago? <sighs> this might be this other game. This might be me the medium. I think this is the medium. No, nope, it's not. Stalker 2. I was totally wrong about that shit. I don't know what the fuck. World. <laughs> Death Stranding? Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> that was Ghost Recon. Who the fuck is a stalker? I don't know, man. What the hell is this? In a world filled with sci fi horror. I've reached a term you of crime and become and three other soldiers roam around in the dark. A recon squad has been sent into sub level six of the Hold hive each other's to determine cheeks. the full extent of the unrest. Wondering if one of y'all brought a tampon. I'll know more. I guess it's any more. I don't know, dude. I'm just trying to sound like the movie guy. I'm just trying to sound like the movie guy when you know he's, he's trying to hype a movie that comes out. What the fuck is all this? Wait, is this Left for Dead? No, Warhammer, if Dark Tide. They make it back. What the? I, I, I didn't even know this was a thing. Tetris Effect? Is Tetris, Tetris Effect getting a sequel or some shit? What? 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 I recognize this music. I don't own the game, but I've seen people play it. I recognize this shit. Tetris. Hey, this beat hot, man. It is Tetris Effect. It has to be. Is it a sequel or some type of expansion DLC? What the fuck's going on? Test is connected, optimized single player and all new multiplayer. Game Pass Holiday 2020. Bet! The hell is that? A, is that a controller on the person's chest or stomach? I don't know, it's like a controller on the stomach. What, what is this? What is this? Reverse Mario Sunshine? What is this? Our Xbox Dark Shine or some shit? The gunk. What the fuck? The gunk. It looks like a gunk. It looks like trash. A little bit. Pines. Is this that medium shit? The gunshot. Every story has Okay, cool, Zim. Sides. Thank you for that. A regular rational one. I think this is the medium. A darker and deeper truth. Definitely getting some like I'm getting Silent Hill vibes. Is this Xbox's version of Silent Hill? Yes, yeah, definitely got to be the medium though, because the female lead character you play as. What the fuck's going on? So, you play as two different versions of her or some shit? What's what's up with this? Hello? Anyone there? Dual reality gameplay, two worlds rendered simultaneously. Okay, it's a little bit of gameplay there. I'm not sure how this is gonna work though properly. Cause I feel like games have not, games have tried to do this same type of idea. It's not worked out too well. <laughs> Creepy though. Ew, cutting stitches. Oh, yeah, there's a few games that did this. There's been a few. Okay, that that did make medium look a little bit more interesting to me. I, I love my horror games, so. World. What? 
What? Um, is this a PSO2 update or PSO3? What's going on here? What? This is PSO. I know this. I know this for a fucking fact. Fancy Star Online. What the hell's going on? Shit looks fucking good. You want this blue? It's on PC through Windows 10. Free to play, bro. Well, f f PSO2, I mean. Oh my God, this looks so freaking smooth. Holy fuck. I know the stream quality is not doing it justice right now because of a little bit of graining, but from my point of view, this looks fucking better than what I've seen of uh, the current pre PS2 PSO2 build. What the hell is is this? Is this a expansion, a reboot, a a sequel? Yo, if we got any PSO players out there, let yourself be known. We can we can go into some PSO two sometime. I got that shit on PC. Starts now. True Adventure starts now? The new Genesis Fantasy Star Online 2? Coming 2021? What the what the fuck? Is this like a Final Fantasy 14 or Realm Reborn type shit? Playground Games presents. Okay. The world is filled with stories. Of legendary fucking theory. fable it's got to be fucking fable fable 4 or a remake the fable one or some shit it's got to be fucking fable of fantastical creatures and wondrous places where nature and magic live in perfect harmony Not all stories have happy endings. Does he really just get eaten up by a frog, though? But what the fuck? Has yet to be written. It's just called Fable. All right, that's essentially it. Okay, let me uh, let me give my thoughts on this. All right. Who? I will say this is a much better presentation overall than the last piece of crap they gave us, where they showed off a lot of third party, pretty much all third party games, but like. And they claim they're gonna show off gameplay, they did, but they didn't really show off gameplay. You know, you remember that? You remember that, Heroes? <laughs> um, um, but <sighs> despite the better like game quality showed off today, I'm not really all that excited. Oh my god, I have to agree with Zem and Blue Dragon in chat. I think the best thing about this shit was PSO2, the new Genesis shit. Um, wow. Like, I, I'm probably the most hyped for that. Um, probably the second thing I'm most hyped for is that Tetris. The new updated Tetris we're going to get on Game Pass this holiday. Because I've not played Tetris Effect yet. And I would love to play that shit. So it's going to be available on Game Pass. So yeah, I'm going to play that shit. Um, for those don't know, I grew up on Tetris. You know, that's one of the games I grew up on along with Mario Brothers and freaking Double Dragon, Battletoads, and other shit back in the day. So I'm, I'm down for that. Hell, I play I play that Tetris 99 on my Switch often before I go to bed. So I love me some Tetris. This is never had the opportunity to get the Tetris, 90, uh, Tetris effect shit. But yeah, for me, PSO2 and Tetris. Uh, oh, and Ori, the upgrades to Ori in World of Wisps. I'm excited for that shit. Um, but that Crossfire, I got to agree with Zem on that. That Crossfire crap looked like a damn bootleg Call of Duty. Um, I got to agree with him on that and halo infinite didn't really look nothing special um and that's not saying halo is a bad series or whatever or bad game by any means that's just you're trying to understand where i'm coming from for those that end up watching this on youtube and whatnot you're talking to a guy who's never played halo really or never gotten to the campaign so but i've played a ton of other fps's i've played call of duty games i've played bioshock i played far cry games i played bulletstorm i've played doom games i've some of these FPSs that I've played that have their own kind of uniqueness to them. And what I saw from Halo Infinite, they was like bland as shit. 
great visuals, but bland as shit. Like, I'm just like, what the fuck about the gameplay makes this cool or different? If anything, it looks like it looked like a blend between Doom and Borderlands a little bit. I was like, what the fuck? I don't know. And then there was a bunch of other shit that just didn't really seem like it was, it was just okay. Although that medium game, since I am a horror fan, that medium game looks kind of interesting. It looks like a damn, but almost kind of looks like a damn Silent Hill clone or some shit. Or like it's trying to be Silent Hill a little too much. I don't know. And then there was another game by Obsidian that was uh, Avowed. Looks like a damn Elder Scrolls clone or some shit. But then, then again, they can make that a lot better than what Elder Scrolls is. So who knows? But... They, they, I don't know, Xbox did a better job. I'm just not too hype. I'm not really hyped for the Xbox Series X. Not when I can just play these games on PC at pretty much about the same fucking quality. The only difference is I don't uh, I don't think my PC is proud enough to run them at 4K 60 FPS, but I don't care about that shit. I'm happy playing them at 120 or 140 FPS on my PC and streaming to you guys at 1080p 60 or, t- or, or 720 60. Shit. Fable? I forgot about Fable too. I'm actually kind of excited about that, but they ain't so no gameplay, but I never played a Fable game either, so... I don't know.